Hi, my name is Stanley Anibok. I'm 20 from Nigeria. I'm currently in Morocco studying engineering and also I am an innovator and storyteller. My project is um, breaking the wall of lack of STEM literacy for students living in rural areas. So these kids living in rural areas lack access to the information and education they need in order to become scientists and innovators in the future. My project is tackling this challenge by conducting hands-on workshops for these kids living in rural areas using science, technology and maths and also making it fun and um, inclusive for them by implementing art as well. So my science initiative is Artec Hubs, which is the merging of art tech in order to show that art is important and also technology is important. Merging the two into Artec Hubs, the project was started in order to inspire countless young Africans in order to become future innovators and change makers. And what surprises me the most is the number of people that I keep on finding out every day that do not have access to um, information in science, technology and mathematics. That is where my project is really important in solving this problem by inspiring kids and that is my dream to inspire the future generation. So actually what makes Arte Corps unique is the way that we portray the workshop for the kids. We try to show them that science is fun and it's interesting and you can also use science and technology to solve problems in the society. So um, society benefits from my project because we you know, um, inspire kids that tend to find solutions to problems in their intermediate societies by using the materials they have around them to solve those problems. And when I started, my family thought I was crazy, that I was wasting my time, but literally right now, I've inspired countless of young people across Africa, Nigeria and Morocco. And my project is literally helping so many people. My parents and family right now, they are proud and they're really inspired by me. And they have so many people around my circle that really support what I'm doing. The questions that remain unanswered is the number of people across Africa that do not have access to information in science, technology, innovation, and mathematics as well. Also in the arts, um, that keeps me awake at night knowing that so many people don't have access to this information. And also, I'm currently working on developing a new solution um, to help students to be able to read during at night because so many students don't have access to electricity. So this is a part of my initiative that keeps me awake and I hope that by 2025, I would have been able to provide a cheap lighting source for students across Africa. And that is my dream and I do not know how I'll achieve it, but I'm already on the step and I believe it, I'll, I will achieve the dream. As a kid, I always wanted to be a superhero, but my grandma would always tell me, you don't need to fly or wear capes to be a superhero. You just have to change people's life to be a hero. And right now, I believe, yes, I am a superhero. I have achieved that dream because I am helping people and changing people's life. And I am a change maker that makes me a hero. And I hope to keep on being a better hero for the future generation.